I wonder what that's all about. Hello everyone, and welcome once again to the Month of Thrills. Today on the agenda, if only on a winter's night, for travelers. I gotta make sure that OBS is actually working properly, sorry about that. It seems there are four travelers on a very winter's night, on quite a journey upon a steam train. Well, not a steam train, a, a charcoal train, whatever you want to call it. Smokestack. Let's just begin, shall we? Before I make a further ass out of myself, February 1929, somewhere in Central Asia. Seems like a pretty somber game to me. Nice ambient noise. Really sets the tone, doesn't it? Now we've got some fancy music playing. Young man? Is everything all right, young man? You seem agitated. Are you not enjoying yourself? Oh yes, but certainly. It is a lovely party indeed. It is, isn't it? Such delightful costumes. And the music, exquisite. Oh, but where are my manners? My name is Layla. I'm Carlo. Pleased to meet you. Um... Sweetie, what is wrong? I can tell there is definitely something on your mind. Are you looking for somebody? Oh no, it's just that, um, I know it must sound peculiar, but... I can't seem to be able to recall how I got here. What do you mean? Surely you must remember something. Well, I was at this hotel in Rome, that I do remember. And then one thing led to another, and then drunk, drunk, drunk. Rome, what a beautiful city. Were you on vacation? Sorry, I just gotta adjust something here. In a way, I was there to meet with my paramour. I was waiting for him to arrive. The Silent Room. How delightful! And while I wait for this silent room, I'm going to adjust things even further. Just because. Ah, beautiful Rome, so glad to see you again. Still as majestic, as decadent, and of course as loud as ever. Oh well, I'll sleep when I'm back in Turin, I guess. What time did Patrick say he would arrive? I'm sure I left his telegram around here somewhere. Ah, here it is. My shooting star, thrilled to see you. Please check in at the Grand Roma. Everything taken care of. We'll be there around noon. Love, P. He's thrilled to see me. Thrilled, oh my, this is going to be rough. Ah, oh, he's thrilled to see me. Thrilled. But still, my beating heart. I should take a quick look in the bathroom mirror and make sure I look presentable. And also check if room service delivered the flowers I ordered. Everything needs to be perfect. I see. That's interesting. Where's the bathroom window? I do not know, but hopefully I will figure it out. Ah, there we go. Everything is perfect. Main door. Okay. Yeah, let's go to the bathroom if there is one around here. Seems like this is just bedroom and living room. Main door. Better not leave the room. Patrick should be here any minute now. This reminds me of that party. Actually, I don't remember that much about it. This, there were togas involved. Patrick loves that whole Roman Emperor aesthetic. He'll never admit it, but I'm sure it's part of the reason he lives here. Americani. Uh, table. Bar. Flowers. Oh, there's the flowers. Great. Room service delivered. But I should move them somewhere else where they stand out a bit more. You do that. Love of the am ambient noises. A table will help it stand out quite a lot. Much better. And here's the card, just as I requested. To my one and only. He's gonna love it. Maybe I should try playing some music? There's even a radio in the room. A radio! This place really has everything. 
I wonder how this works. I think I'd better leave it for Patrick. I wonder how this works. Oh no, what have I done? Oh dear, what a relief. You don't know what static is? Good sir. This guy appears to be rather ignorant. Room service, one of the greatest inventions of mankind, humankind. Thrilled to see me, thrilled. Chest of drawers. Socks, underwear, a couple of shirts. And that Rolex Patrick gave me the first party we met. I'm sure he would like me to wear it. Probably. There, so fancy. Who even needs an alarm clock with the pandemonium? Now let's see. Let's just click around the street. Oh, I see. It's market day. What a racket. Whiskey, gin, vermouth, uh, amaretto, campari, of course, yum. Is that... Hold on. Is that limoncello? I'm butchering all those pronunciations. I apologize immensely. I do not know what I'm talking about. I'm so tired from my trip, I just want to take a nap. But Patrick should be here soon. Maybe we can call room service and have breakfast in bed. I should take a quick look in the bathroom mirror and I'll be all set for when he arrives. What bathroom mirror? Oh, there's the bathroom. I didn't even notice that indent. I'm blind. Sorry. Toilet. Been there, done that. Well, well, well. Probably should turn the light on, I guess. You lucky handsome devil, you. You really hit the jackpot this time. What if he is the one, the real one? Can you imagine? Having to tell mom and everything? Okay, you know what? We'll cross that bridge. When and if we ever get to it. For now. You just look dashing, young man. Okay, you've taken care of everything. Everything should be in order. Is that the phone? Wait, no, it's the door buzzer. Patrick! Patrick should be here. Is that you? Carlo! Patrick, so happy to see you. Look at you, it's been too long. I missed you. Me too. I'm so happy you made it all the way here. So, how do you like this place? You mean the room or the city? Both are quite excessive. The room, pretty fancy, isn't it? Very much so, especially that painting over the bed, especially that bathtub. Very much so, especially that painting over there in the bedroom. The artist really gave it all. It's a sight to behold. Oh, this I must see with my own eyes. This way, I presume? Go for it. <laughs> oh god, I'm so sorry. You better be. You're the one who has to sleep with that over his head. Absolutely fair. I'll have them transfer you immediately. Yep. Look at that amazing bed this amazing bed though. Wink wink. What do you say? Wouldn't you rather get a drink? We should really make the most of that amazingly equipped bar I saw in the living room. Even if it's only in solidarity. Dirty with my fellow Americans suffering under the grip of the Volstead Act. Are you serious? It's not even noon yet. Uh, sure, coming right up. That's my Bambino, let's do this. Uh, I guess we'll get loaded then. So, one for Patrick, one for me. Here you go, Patrick. Here's your drink. Salute! Cheers! <coughs> Have you seen there's a radio and everything? Did you try to find some music? Oh, it didn't cross my mind, but feel free if you want. Don't mind if I do. There, isn't that nice? Oh, by the way, these flowers are for you. Oh, they are absolutely lovely. Look, they come with a card. To my one and only. Charlie, Carlo, I need to tell you something. Want to sit down? I'm fine here, thanks. Look, Carlo, we can't keep doing this. I'm sorry. Why, don't you like me anymore? Come on, Carlo, you know it's not that. 
I like you, but that I... doesn't mean that I... Look, you know just as well as I do that it wasn't meant to last. Don't play dumb now, please. I'm not playing dumb. I truly was starting to believe we were made for each other. And where exactly did you get that idea? Well, on your telegram, for example. I have no idea what you're talking about. Are you the one playing dumb now? Here, let me get it from my, the other room and I'll show you. You're exhausted, Carlo. Uh-oh. I hope that isn't copywritten. I'll have to check later. Here it is. Thrilled to see me, he said. In here's indisputable proof that he loves me. My shooting star. I see. How can I be so naive? Thrilled to dump me, that's what he was. Oh, I see. Well then. Your shooting star, of course. Fleeting, a passing glimpse and then gone. Is that how you justify it to yourself? I'm just some crazy adventure? Or did the deuce put the fear of God in you? It's not that. It has nothing to do with you. It's just wrong. I'm sorry, Carlo. Wrong? How can this be wrong? The only thing that's wrong is having to hide it. The things will get better one day. They have to. Look, I don't expect you to understand. But I have read these articles, these medical journals. Carlo, there are doctors. They can help. They have this new therapy. I'm going to tell my wife everything. I know she'll support me. She and I will go through this together, discreetly. I know we'll be stronger for it in the end. And you should think about it, too. I read about this hospital near Turin and Caligno. Carlo, they can fix you. I'm speechless. Patrick, no, not you. Please. After all we've shared? After all those moments together? Sick. You really hate yourself so much that you think a doctor can cure you of what you feel for me? Carlo, I can't feel anything for you. I have a wife, I have children, I am a man. And this is what a man does. Patrick, I know you're scared. The future isn't looking good right now. Giving up seems like the easiest thing to do. But we don't need fixing and you know it. This is not who you are. Oh, that is such a waste of time. Why did you think it was a good idea to tell you in person? Or why did I think it was a good idea to tell you in person? I'm sorry, Carlo, but that's all I can give you. I need to go home now. Can you please call room service and order me a taxi cab? Uh, all right, all right, sure. Turn that off. Well, there's another Irving Burling song ruined for me. I can't turn it off then. Fine. Room service? I'd like to arrange a pickup. Yes, a regular taxi cab will do. Owen, Patrick Owen, room 1046. Thank you. I get the feeling that music is going to be very troublesome. I guess this is goodbye. Is there anything I can do to change your mind? So what now? You're just going to go back to them? Carlo, I think I made myself very clear. I don't know what else to tell you. This was a mistake and I came here to fix it. Now I just want to go home and have a drink. Ah uh, yes, getting drunk the solution for everything. Why are you treating me like this? Are you enjoying it? Carlo, I'm just giving you the facts, but you refuse to accept them. It's over. Have some self-respect and deal with it. As to me, I've had enough with your whining. I'll wait for the car downstairs. And you can pack your suitcase and go back to Turin. Waste your family's money or whatever it is you do there when I'm not around. Out of my way, I'm done with you. You know what, I'm fed up with your condescendence. And your arrogance and your entitlement. And I've had it with your snark and your insults. Who the hell do you think you are to treat people like this? Answer me, peso de merda. Oh, jeez. Did he just kill him? I think he did. Oh, shit. Talk about gone wrong, huh? Ah, damn. That escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. Oh, God, Patrick, oh, God. I can't run like this. I need to think, I need to think, I need to wash my face. It wasn't intentional, Moida. It was an accident. Wash your face. The phone is driving me crazy. I need to pick it up. Fine. Pick up the phone. As if that'll help. My 
my car is... What happened? Why am I standing here? I was on my way to the bathroom. I need to wash my face. I need to calm down. Something about my car is, um... I didn't read the last part. By the time I realized it was reverse, it was too late. Patrick, my love. So much blood. So much blood. You're dead. And it was me. It was me! Oh god, Patrick, I'm sorry. I never wanted this. But I can make it up to you. You'll see. Just you, you wait, Patrick. I'm coming home. Wait, what? What does that mean? It's an invitation. Some kind of masked ball? RSVP not required. So this is supposed to be a mask? It slithers. Oh boy. Yeah, um... So that's what the masked ball is all about. It's on people journeying to the afterlife. And he took his. The next thing you know, I'm here in this train with a drink in my hand. And now this all feels unreal, like a strange dream, like I shouldn't really be here. Oh dear, what a terrible experience that must have been. I'm not surprised that you're feeling disorientated. Excuse me? I'm sorry to interrupt. Not at all. What is it, darling? Do you mind if I take a seat? Of course not. Please, go ahead. Thank you so much. I've been looking all over for my husband, but I cannot find him. I'm quite certain that we were supposed to meet here, yet nobody I speak seems to have seen him. What does your husband look like, Mrs.? Winterborn. Valerie Winterborn. My husband is Henry Winterborn. Surely you must know him from the papers. Not that it would matter here. But I'm confident that if he were around, I would have recognized him already. Do you not remember when you last saw him? Of course, it was... This is embarrassing, but I, I am not quite so sure now. It is alright, dearie. What do you remember then? It was raining. Kinda wish I could go through all these, but I don't have time. In either case... The slow vanishing of Lady Winterborn. It seems I'll be lucky to get through two of them. Well, at least that's half. Who says horror has to be the scary and in-your-face kind? This was listed as a horror game, but it's more like a somber, everything-went-wrong kind of game. No. My medicine keeps the nightmares at bay, but there's not much left. Drape cloth. If I could close my eyes, I could almost hear. These are for tomorrow. Is it tomorrow yet? How long has it been raining? What day is this? What's the hanging cloth? Shh, quiet now. Oh, okay. I don't know what you mean by that. Let's go to the hallway. Outside? But it is yesterday. I cannot go outside when it is yesterday. How about the bed? Have I been sleeping? It's dark. Where can I go to? The mirror? The... There was something else. Lamp? No light. Light. It hurts. There was something else here. Oh. My medicine keeps the nightmare at bay. Nightmares at bay, but there's not much left. Is there anything else to click on? Picture frames. Did there used to be faces here? I don't think I see anything else that I can... Ball of yarn. Oh, it's Lord Sox's ball of yarn. He always brings it with him when he sneaks in at bedtime, but where is he? Maybe he got caught outside in the rain? It's hard to see anything from here. Okay, I need to see what else I can click on. Maybe if I go down here, I can see something else. No, the view isn't changing. It's fixated in place. No. She does not wish to see her reflection. That's a real shame. Hanging cloth. Um, there doesn't appear to be anything else I can click on. I close my eyes, I can almost hear. I've been sleeping, it's dark. I don't see anything else that I can click on. Is it for tomorrow? Is it tomorrow yet? Hmm. What do we have here? Oh, okay, I can't see anything. Maybe the servants have seen him? Okay, it's because of the ball of yarn. Now I can do something. It's probably chilly out in the hallway. I should cover up just in case. 
Right. Armoire. I think that's how you pronounce it. Apologies if it isn't. What was I doing? I think I forgot. I'm just tired. I haven't slept well. Yes, I just need a bit, bit more rest. A short nap will do me good, no doubt, but first my medicine. No light, it hurts. Poor girl. She's clearly suffering. So little left. Why hasn't the maid replenished it yet? What was that? Let's hurry up and see that envelope. Envelope. I guess I can at least extend the let's play until I get through her story. A letter from Lord Cavendish? What could he possibly want? Sorry for your loss, my most con sincere condolences. What? Is this a joke? Has my husband seen this? Did the maid bring this? Where is she? Oh, uh, okay. Okay, then. A dusty vase. Heavy door. The housemaid should be here in her chambers. And behind the heavy door, apparently. Okay, that's... Oh, okay. That's a different window, my bad. What is this? I hear voices. She's not alone. I think there's a man in there with her. The door is too thick. I can't make out what they're saying. Head in. I need to find a way to listen to what they're saying. Hanging cloth, hanging cloth. Something not quite here. There's some fading memory. I can't remember. What about over here? Maybe there's something you can use here. A book? Huh. I see. There appears to be more here than meets the eye. A shadow, just a shadow, a shadow, just a shadow. Just a shadow. I should check the maid's chambers first. I need something that I can listen with, apparently. Wait, what about the ornate glass? She can put it up against the door. Yes. Use it. The door itself is probably too thick, but maybe. Ah, perfect. Not since the conservatory incident. What about her lawn denoom consumption? Has it decreased at all? No, but she mustn't have much left. I haven't refilled her decanter in several days, and I've hidden the rest of the cabinet downstairs. Good. And this cabinet is locked? It is. The glass is thick and the lock strong. It is vital that she doesn't find the key. She needs to regain her composure and her health. More letters are arriving, and rumors abound. <gasps> How dare they keep the key from me? I should burst into that room right now, but I will deal with that tomorrow. I think I will have my medicine now. With what little you have left? Or getting more of it? Yes, you should take your medicine. Might help. Then again, might not. Who knows? Oh, I see. This is what allows her to have some normalcy. If only because it's causing her to halluc hallucinate. I hope Henry didn't won't lock himself up in his study when he gets back. Because of his business trips, he barely gets any we barely get any time together lately. Oh, okay. She doesn't want to confront the maid anymore because she's loopy. No wonder. Jeez. My own personal pantheon. These figures have always been a huge inspiration for me. I just could not bring myself to leave them behind in France when I moved here. The Plax is Apollo, god of music in the sun. Let's go down now. I... I feel dizzy. Why was I going downstairs anyway? I'm not sure. Was I not going to my room? Evidently so. I thought you were gonna go downstairs to get more of your medicine, but I guess not. We don't need that. We're loopy right now. We'll worry about that when we run out of medicine. Which will be... When you awaken. I don't know what's wrong. I feel so weak. The medicine's already wearing off. Try going to bed. You need some sleep, immediately. It'll do you good, I think. 
or contemplate in the mirror, the window, that works too. Another letter. What could this be? Grab the letter. Lord Windsor, now? What is this? Deepest condolences, again. But there's more. I'm aware of the dire situation of the Windborne family. Rumors about that precious Ming base, one of the few pieces not yet sold. Surviving on your fortune alone, I believe that our union would be nothing but mutually beneficial. This is outrageous. What is this all about? I must find the housemaid. I demand an explanation. Besides, she has the key to the cabinet. This is weird. Okay, let's try to get in there. I can't hear anything. Seems like the room is empty. Or maybe they're hiding from me, whispering in the dark? How dare they? The glass is cracked. How dare they not open the door? I guess we can go downstairs now. Unless there's somewhere else I'm supposed to be that I'm not aware of. But probably not. On and on until my very bones are wet. Yes, the rain is rather... Relentless, isn't it? Time to go to the parlor. I can't stop thinking about this uh, that outrageous letter. The family, the family Ming's vase. You'll see what I think about the Ming, that Ming vase. A deep, terrifying roar. Okay, I guess we're just gonna break the vase then. Fine then. If that's what you want, lady. Just, uh, be prepared to deal with the consequences when you're done. You know? Is this the vase he was talking about? Smash it. I wonder if a thousand tiny pieces will be as valuable as the whole vase. Potain de miad! Vase fragments, good. Okay, can we go downstairs now? Clearly she is not in the right frame of mind for this. Also, she is transparent. I noticed. I wonder if that is relevant to anything, or if it's just a graphical thing so that you can see things behind her more easily. Who knows, for all I know, she could be a ghost already. I don't think so, though. She's clearly physically reinteracting with things. There used to be flowers here. Silent, no more voices. I could sink in it. Rest maybe later. Fireplace, huh? Poor girl. Only ash, this is not the fire I seek. Cold, heavy iron. Display cabinet. My medicine should be in the cabinet. There it is, hidden at the back among the glasses. But I don't have the key, and I have no idea where the maid is. Well, I'll smash the bloody thing up, but if I need to... Grab a chair. Or maybe a book or something? I don't know. Something I could break through it. Books and books. Here's one and another. A treaty on clocks. The unbearable jargon of the clockmaker. Anything here? A faint ticking. Mm, to foyer. Store leads to the foyer, but my medicine is here. Why would I go anywhere else? So you can find something to break that open with? Wait. Pokers. Hmm. Of course. That would be effective at breaking it open. Yes, it makes sense now. I think. She's desperate. Yes, this will work. She needs her medicine to become well. She can't have normalcy without it. Ah, yes. Peaceful and calm. Now to the foyer. I am indeed in the right state of mind. Let us go. It sounds like the servants are talking in the foyer. But I do not need anything from them right now, and I should not eavesdrop it as rude. Huh. She becomes a completely different person when she's 
on this stuff, isn't she? Henry's favorite spot after a study, of course. The perfect spot to read a book by the fire. Maybe she can read a book. There's some interesting books here. From a far, from a far field, a woman cried, I have killed him I loved. And from a jar she poured blood upon the flowers whose petals are whiter than snow and whose hearts are pure gold. What is this? What is this book doing here? Trina Clucks. One of those awfully boring technical books about Henry's dad, like, that Henry's dad liked to keep around. Striking as they may look, decorative clocks such as those imbued with busts or statues lack precision and reliability. Such models exhibit an average delay of seven minutes when referenced against a classic long case clock. This is, of course, unacceptable. Well, of course, unacceptable. Without fear of winded vertigo. And so, and as you see, this novel is so tightly interwoven with sensations suddenly riven up bottomless chambers as if the claim to portray vital fullness revealed the void beneath. Hmm, I am not familiar with the auth this author Italian. Sounds very modern. Okay, I see. Fair enough. It is a table clock in the shape of a bust, but it needs winding and the key is missing. The smell of fresh flowers in the morning is one of life's subtlest pleasures. Where shall I go? My gramophone! Of course, that's probably what I need to do. I have so many memories attached to all these records, especially the ones I brought from my trips abroad with Mama and... Which one shall I play first? Um, my New York? I don't know. Scandalous! What should I play after this? Let's quickly change these out. Isn't it too dreamy? What should I play after this? This will probably do. Dum da dee dum da dum. Very nice. But this is not the way it happened. My trips with Mama and I need to remember. There's no fire to stir. A cat purring on your lap, the sound of logs crackling. No better way to spend those rainy English autumn afternoons. But let's listen to some music. Um. Uh, bedroom, hallway, stay here. Is there something else I could be doing right now? I haven't the foggiest. What peculiar dreams I've been having lately. Oh, I look just fine. I do not feel like playing right now. I think I'd rather go downstairs and listen to my records. Okay. But you just did. Is that not enough? It's weird. I keep having the feeling that Henry's in his study, but I haven't arrived. Heard his car arrive yet. Must be deja vu. Where could he be? This is all very strange. Well, at least the medicine appears to be taking more long effect this time. Or maybe she really has been having nightmares, and this is how things actually are. Nah. Who am I kidding? Who am I trying to fool here? Okay, three old Viennese dances. What should I play after this? Parigi. Come on. Isn't it too dreamy? What should I play after this? Uh, okay. My New York. Dum da dee dum da dum. But this is not the way it happened. My trip's with Mama, and I need to remember. Wait, what the hell? Do I need to do it in a specific order? I need to do it in a specific order, don't I? Oops. I've never been fond of this painting. It is so solemn and joyless. Henry's taste can be so old-fashioned sometimes. A study, of course. Right. There's probably a specific way you need to do this, isn't there? Let's see, maybe this one first? 
Hang tight real quick. Oh, okay, this... this is different. What on earth was that? Feel a little lightheaded. I think I'd rather go back to my room. Very well, let us... depart. It seems the way the music went that time was proper, and now she wants to go to sleep. Painting, isn't that nice? That must be Henry. Her late husband. Who she seems to think is alive as long as the medicine is in effect. But this isn't healthy for her, and I am in fact feeling a little indisposed. But something is not right here. My harp, who did this? Of course, it's draped again. The shadow, it's, it's wrong. Yep, here we go. It is slipping through my fingers, it's gone, but maybe I can sleep and dream of tomorrow. There's always music tomorrow. I kind of want to keep playing this, but, um, I'm not sure I can. Another letter? How long is it going to keep raining? This is just getting ridiculous now. Let us read it then. I need my medicine. Empty. Well, it should be in the cabinet that you broke. She's not looking so good. Go to the parlor while you still can. Oh, uh, maybe she trips over the stairs and that's how she dies. Who knows? Or maybe she takes too much of it. I'm not sure. Ah, it's still here. Yes. The letter. Where did this come from? It is a letter from Lord Fitzroy? He is a friend of Henry's, if I remember correctly. Hope this letter finds you well. Wish to offer my most profound condolences. What? So daring as to propose an arrangement for our mutual benefit. I dream of ha holding your hand. Yes, a man can dream. Oh, to walk with you in the lushness of your beautiful conservatory. Is this a marriage proposal? Is this real? Did someone put opium tincture in my morning tea? This is this has to be a prank. No man in the right mind would dare send something like this. I must find the housemaid, provided this isn't some lock of hers. She should know who delivered this. I recall I heard her earlier in the foyer. Well, let's try it. If I haven't finished her story by 45 minutes in, I'll just end it. It doesn't look like the maid is here, but I hear voice heard voices. What the it's chilly here. Seems to have stopped. The hands are struck at 3 o'clock. Maybe I can use that key to wind it? Hmm. Let's see if this works. Ah. Uh, it's too tall. I cannot reach the winding hole. 3 o'clock it is, then. I'm not dressed to go outside. Conservatory, where is this? Is this an issue of Paris Square on the table? Oh, it's the issue of... Perry Soir that featured our wedding. Everybody made such a thing out of it. Many were shocked to get they, today upon learning of the uh, engagement of the extravagant heiress of the Boisvillesi Jewelry Empire. Sorry about butchering that. Madame Wesla, Valerie Bielvo Isis to Henry Winterborne, Lord Winterborne. In a move is uncharacteristic for such socialite whose friendships with artists such as Germain or Fenard are well known. She declared her intention to move to the family manor in Wil Wiltshire, England, leaving behind a life of glamour in Paris for Britain's green pastures. Despite the loud rumors regarding the ruinous financial situation of the Winterborne family, Winterborne family, the heiress insists that this is a marriage of love, and that moving to the calm of the countryside will be a welcome change for her. Oh, I do love it here so much. I do wish to read that article just once more. I can read this over and over. I see. 
Oh, okay. Let's go to the parlor. Apparently there was a clock that I could have wound up there, too. Table clock. Use the key to wind it. We shall see what happens then. But this is all rather bizarre. The winding key from the standing clock should fit here. Perfect, I can wind the clock now. What time shall I set? Oh, three o'clock, right? Hmm, I don't know what I was expecting. Let me just check. Maybe that article said something that I didn't quite pick up on the first time. Apologies. Let me check. Oh, wait. No, that still says three o'clock. Let me see. Nope, there's no time. Darn. What is with... This is strange. It's like there's a shadow of herself crying. I don't understand. Maybe if I set back the clock? I do not know. Strange. This is all rather strange. Let's try this again. Maybe one o'clock. Who knows? I don't know what I was expecting either. Clearly all I can say is hang tight real quick again. Ah, yep. That has a delay of seven minutes, of course. And is the grandfather clock, is it working too now? Yes, let's check it out. I want to get through her story. I want to see where this is going. Because clearly she is delirious on some kind of medication. The clock is working again, just like... I, I am not sure now, when was that? I was here browsing the afternoon papers. Lord Sox rushed in, the clock chimed. He ran into the conservatory. What has that little rascal done? I cannot remember. Oh, no matter. It'll come back to me. Now about that Lord Fitzroy. There must be somebody in this house who can tell me what is going on. She's clearly lost it. Let her look so serene. What the? A ghost. What was that? looks so serene. Okay, I think I get it now. Come on. Ivy, the baby. This baby Ivy will soon start climbing the wall. Plants. Huh. Did I see something move there? No, not quite, but there is some rustling, rustling of leaves somewhere. Camellias are so delicate with their snow white petals and tiny golden hearts. Oh, there was a story about that. It must have been my imagination. Maybe the bushes? So many bugs. This needs a trim. Is this a ficus? I don't know much about these plants. Okay. Is there anything else I can click on besides everything that I've already done? I think a tiger could hide here. Ghost is appearing again. I wonder what that's all about. Strange. Maybe that did something here. Trim this a bit. What was she looking for? Oh, here we go. What the? What was she doing? Enjoying the morning sun with a cup of tea is something I never did very often back in Paris. Three. Okay, now what? I do not know. This is strange. I do not see anything anywhere. 
right. Now she's looking at something. What did that unlock? Hmm. Why is she crying? Well, unfortunately, I have hit the threshold. I'm gonna have to say that is it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around like in conclusions, and I will see you next time. I go out there and capitalize on life. Peace out, have a good one, and have a nice and pleasant day. As much as I'd love to keep playing, I'm afraid I can't keep going forever. See you later.